Hi and welcome to part four. Part four we'll be looking at a few things. Firstly we'll be looking at how we can apply auto page numbering to appear at the bottom of the page there. In order to do that we'll need to access the pages panel. You can see I've got 179 pages there already. So it's growing all the time this document. Now in order to um, apply the auto page numbering I'm going to need to access the master pages. Now in InDesign you get given by default an A master, so you get one set of master pages to start with. You can add to that. We're going to need the one, so we're going to look at the one today. Now to get into the A master pages, to edit them, we're going to double click the A master, the words A master, and that'll get us to our master pages. Now if I just fit the spread in the window, you can see originally we ticked that box that said primary text frame. That actually put a text frame on each master page. We have facing pages, so this is referring to the pages on the left and that's referring to the pages on the right. And to see the effect that these are having, because the text is actually sitting, all this text is sitting inside these frames on those pages. Now, anything I do in the master page is going to affect everything that's got the A master applied to it. Now, by default, everything gets the A master applied to it. That's what that A is on all of those pages. So if I start changing the height, for example, of my text frame on this right hand page here, can you see how it's impacting all those odd pages? And likewise with this, you can see what's happened. Okay, be careful. I don't want to do that. So let me just put that back and that back. What I do want to do in here actually is add page numbers. So I'm going to come down to my left hand page here. I'm going to zoom in and we're going to put a, oh, go a bit too far. And we're going to put a page number in down here. Now I'm going to hit T for type to get the type tool. I'm just going to draw myself a random size text frame. And you can see it's all dotted actually. That just denotes that it's been drawn on the master page. That's why it's got those dots on there. Now in here, I need to put in a special marker, a page marker, and it's under type. And it's insert a special character, and it's a marker, and it's the current page number. Leave it on there for a second so you can see where it is. It's quite buried. Okay, current page number. Now, in there, I would normally see an A to denote the, that we're on the A master, uh, but for some reason I've got nothing in there. All I've got is this little box here that we call the output, has a red cross in it, and I can see that the pre flight has flagged up an error because I've got overset text. Yeah, I know what's happened. If I go and have a look in my paragraph style panel, I'll guarantee that it has been given <laughs> the chapters paragraph style, which remember has got lots of space after it, which is uh, not going to fit in there. So I need to just click on body copy. Ah, there we go. That's fixed it. Perfect. Now I'm going to center this to this frame. So I'm going to click on my paragraph formatting controls and just click on this option here to align to the center. Looks good to me. And then I'm going to click on my selection tool or hit escape. And I'm just going to come back. So I'm just going to zoom back out again. So I'm going to hold my command down or control on the PC and hit zero. Now I'm going to position this in the center of the document by using my smart guides. There they are flashing on and off. That's the center, that's the center of my margins. That's why that one's magenta. Now if you hold your shift key down when you're moving this backwards and forwards, it will lock it nice and straight for you. Let's get that up a little bit. Let's go do it manually first. Quite happy with that. Now, next thing I need to do is I need to copy this onto this page. So I'm going to Alt, Press my Alt key down or Option on the Mac, click and drag. Now, as soon as I've dragged, I can let go of the Alt key because I've now got a copy. Now, if I hold down the Shift key now, it will just look nice and straight and I can drag it right over there and find my center point with my Smart Guide and let go. And now I have an identical frame on both pages. Now, I said that A there is just telling me we're on the A master. It's actually in there is embedded a little bit of code to generate the page number. So if I click on the pages panel, let's double click randomly on page form five. And I can see I have now got 
page numbers. And let's do another one. Page numbers, brilliant. Excellent, so that's using the master pages. Let me just get that back to page one. Okay, and we'll just center that. Cool, and you can see that little dotted frame there. Again, it's just telling me that that's on the master page. Looking pretty good. If I hit W now to get a preview, that's looking pretty good to me, quite happy with that. And then we'll just hit W again. Brilliant. So let's use a similar method to put a header at the top of every page of our document. So back to the pages panel, double click the A master. This is War of the Worlds by HG Wells. So what we're gonna do is gonna draw myself a text frame, do this quite quickly. Just see how it's just locked onto the margin. There's my smart guys telling me it's the same width. And in here, I'm just going to type uh, the War of the World HG Wells. Look at that, I've got that same problem again. It will happen, so I'm glad it's doing it. Now I've just typed the War of the World HG Wells. What I'd quite like to do is get the HG Wells on this side of the frame. I want to put a right indent here. Now the quickest way you, you can do this is if you hold down the shift key and hit tab. So, oops, did it twice. Shift and then tab, and that will push it over to the right hand side. Okay, um, just nudge that down ever so slightly, and then I'm gonna copy that over to the other side. So, Alt, click, drag, and don't forget the shift key, we'll keep it nice and straight. And now, that now should appear on every page. Looks a bit intrusive, it's quite large, isn't it, actually? I might just go and edit that. So let me just double click, go in here. I could actually make a style out of this, I suppose. Um, let me do paragraph styles, new paragraph style. I'm gonna call this one header, basic character format. I might get it down actually to size 12. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm just going to, oh, I want to be colourful. Colour it the uh, same colour. I'm going to call it this cyan as well. And then I click OK. And then in here, I just need to apply it. So one click inside. Don't need anything selected. As long as I'm inside the paragraph, I can apply a paragraph style. Great. So, thank you. OK, excellent. Let's just see what it looks like. W. That looks better. Okay, but don't forget, once you've got all your styles in place, you can you can do all these little tweaks and changes at the end. If you're not happy with the layout or, or the, the paragraph styles, we can make all these little changes later to make it look much better. So I'm gonna stop there for this particular part of the tutorial and come back for the next part where we'll be putting together a table of contents. Thank you very much for watching.